Right after we sell you some stuff. That's it! We can use a Christmas carol to scare Jem into being nice! I can't wait! Now, wait a minute. Scaring Jem into being nice? Who's this plan for? You are Jem. Jem, of course. She needs to learn how to treat people at Christmas. I just happen to be one of the people she treated badly, in front of a classroom of my friends. Well, I think positive reinforcement might be a better tactic. You know what they say, toss a good deed into the world and it comes back to you a thousandfold. Yeah, I read that fortune cookie. I also read the one that says spit into the wind. That comes right back at you too. Gem is above mere mortal persuasion, Uncle Quigley. Let the witches handle this one. I get to be the ghost of Christmas yet to come. Is that the one with the hood and the bony finger? I want to be that one. No way, I called it. Does it count? Guys? I want to be the ghost with the fruit hat. Oh, I want to be that one too. You're already the bony finger ghost. She is not. Don't be a pig. It's Christmas. <sighs> Are you purposely trying to ruin my Christmas? Ah. <gasps> Hello, I, I mean Boo. What is going on here? Did someone forget to dust my door again? No, I'm a ghost, you dimwit. And I have something we importante to tell you. On this night, you will be visited by a host of ghosts three. The ghost of Christmas past, the ghost of Christmas present, and the ghost of Christmas yet to come. You will be shown... Which one are you? Well, none. You said three ghosts. I'm supposed to be the ghost of Marley, who you really don't know, but... So it's four ghosts. Huh? Ghost of Christmas past, present, yet to come, and you. Four ghosts. Wait, no, no, there's three. Oh. Haunt me when you got your story straight. I gotta go to bed. I gotta get a new gig.